everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an apartment makeover in San Marcino and this one is in the shopping district. And this apartment in particular, for some reason, ever since I have started working with these apartments, I've always really been drawn to this particular apartment. And if you were here in the earlier days of my channel, and I'm speaking like um, two months ago, um, I did start a Let's Play in this apartment and I'm not sure if that's what made me really fall in love with this apartment. I don't know. It's just, it's the way it's laid out that you can do like a loft apartment with the glass railing and it has a very beautiful balcony with a stunning view, which unfortunately, as always, I forgot to furnish the balcony. Um, it's just kind of what I do. I, <laughs> I never remember to do the balconies and I don't know why I always forget because I really do like doing the balconies. I think it would have been awesome to have like a little bit of a bar um, set up out there with maybe some lounge chairs or something like that. Um, so that's unfortunate <laughs> that I did forget that. But um, I really just wanted to have this apartment a theme with like... Um, two bedrooms. Um, the last time that I worked with doing a build in this apartment, it's kind of the same layout as in like the upstairs has the glass balcony so that you can look into the lower level. But it was only one bedroom and it had like the bathroom and office upstairs and I kind of wanted to switch it around just a little bit. It does have a bedroom upstairs but I kind of took that L shape and made the end into another bedroom and I kind of did it in mind so that we could have like roommates living in this apartment. Um, I would really like to do a let's play in this apartment. Now that I've been kind of getting used to um, my channel and kind of what I'm going for, I'm not too sure. Um, and I really just kind of wanted like a mature apartment. I mean, you can definitely have a mature adult apartment with pink colors. I just wanted something different and I really love the colors. Um, it's definitely like a guy could live in this apartment or a girl. Like it's definitely either way. I mean, it definitely has feminine touches with like the frilly curtains and some of the decor. But I mean, it's definitely one of my more, um, I don't know, toned down apartments with the blue. It definitely can go either way. And I don't know, I feel like this has a different look than some of my other apartments and it's just, it flows really nicely without being completely overdone in blue. Um, I don't know if it's that I used a gray, which kind of um, like works with it well. I don't know what it is. I just really, really like this. So I am going to be putting this into the gallery if this is something you guys are interested. Um, I'm not sure if I'll just... I'll do like the rooms separately and then I'll do each complete level um, individually. So if you just see one of the bedrooms that you might want to put into your game, just to use that as an addition into something that you're already using, you can do that. And if this is something you want, like the complete full apartment, if you want to use this in your game, you can do it that way as well. So the only thing that you're going to need to do is add in the stairs. And the stairs that I used are the ones that are kind of hollowed out, like there's no bottoms and they're just kind of like the floating stairs. And then I used, I think it's from the get together railing. Um, it's like a complete glass railing and I did that as a staircase and along the top um, balcony in the bedroom. So you're going to need to replace that. You're going to need to replace the doors um, to get into the bedroom downstairs, which is from the city living. I used the, um, I can't remember if it's white and blue or gray and blue, but I used the same door downstairs as I did upstairs. And I'm just trying to like picture everything as I say this. So if I'm like talking a little bit slow. So um, I'm trying to think upstairs what else there is. I did a bathroom. I know like down on this lower level, I didn't put a door into the bathroom because there is the floating stairs. And I feel like that kind of separated it enough. And the toilet I put like under the stairs. So it's kind of tucked away. Um, 
you will see that eventually. I really like how it turned out. It's really cute and it's almost like you don't even know that it's there. Um, you could definitely, like, if you feel like that bathroom, it's a little bit too open and it's not something that you really like. I just wanted it down here in case there's company because the only other bathroom is upstairs through the other bedroom. So I kind of wanted to have just another one. There's a shower and a bathroom. Um, if you didn't want that there, you could totally make it work as an office. Um, you could take out like the shower and toilet and sneak a d little desk in there with a chair. That would totally work as well and it would be very cute because there's the tall window that's there. Um, that's definitely another option. And um, I wanted a lot of windows. Um, I kind of pushed the kitchen back before when you walked in, it was the kitchen, but I kind of really wanted it in the back so I could add a lot of like extra windows that kind of matched with what was already in the apartment. I don't usually use these windows. They're not my favorite because they're like horizontal slatted and I don't always use them. So using this apartment, I kind of just wanted to have the same theme throughout and I kind of like doing that sometimes because it kind of like makes me use items that I mean I just don't always use because once you do get using like playing the sims and building in the sims sometimes you store to sort of like gravitate to the same items and I'm trying so hard not to do that and branching it with like different colors and I think that's why I like this one so much because I mean I usually stick with like the creams and the whites and the like very light browns and a lot of pinks and things like that and switching it up and doing like a more um like blue toned gray toned I think that's why I like this so much is because it really turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to be and the actual layout of this apartment I really really like it and I feel like it works like perfectly in this apartment um I really like these doors too that I ended up going with. It's like a French door and it kind of keeps it a little bit private in here as well as you still are able to look out the door and see the beautiful views of the city. Um, what else did I do here? So I kept that pretty simple. Um, trying to think I'm gonna have a bunch of new videos I am so excited um we finally got our internet fixed um before it would take me like four to six hours to try to get a six minute video posted on YouTube so it was basically an all-day event like whenever I would do one of these builds and not only that, I would have to, like, our internet would keep losing connection. And when you're doing an upload, if you lose connection, you have to start completely over. So I would be trying to, like, do uploads for, oh my gosh, I know at least nine attempts. And I mean, sometimes it would be, like, 15, 16 tries before it would even go up. So, I mean, a whole entire day sometimes was... I mean, just trying to get these videos uploaded and it was like a really big pain. It really took the fun out of it, just trying to keep my videos like daily or anything like that. So we did have one of the Eastlink guys and I mean, this has been for years, like even before I was uploading on YouTube, if I um, was just on the internet doing whatever, like if I had um, some of like my business things to, to to do sometimes I couldn't even get pages to load like I couldn't even send invoices or anything like that so I'm really like it's been years I don't know why it took so long like my father's actually the one that said like you should be getting somebody down there to fix your internet like that's what they're for and um it's a service charge like or it's free like <laughs> they're just gonna come down that's just part of the service is to make sure that it works so I actually got him to call because I'm horrible at like calling places like that and they came down it took them two days because the first time they came down they tried to fix it it worked better they improved our speed from whatever we had was like I don't know four or five in the or maybe it was three three something I know anybody familiar with this kind of stuff will know what I'm talking about maybe and then they upped me to 10 so he said it would quadruple like just make all my uploads and anything that I'm doing like streaming videos or whatever like that it's just gonna be a whole new world and it really is um however the day that he was here the first time we ended up being disconnected off my laptop 
And he's like, that is so weird. So he ended up, he was here for like pretty much half the day the first time. And then he came down the next time with a whole different modem. And we have like an extender in the house. And I was able to upload a video in, oh my gosh, a half an hour, maybe even less. I'm not sure, but I couldn't even believe it. It's the fastest. I almost like didn't even believe it was on there. I had to actually watch it before I made it public because I was thinking there's no way that it's up and it was. So I'm so excited to be able to do that. Um, so anyways, that's just kind of, I don't even know how I got talking about that. <laughs> I didn't even plan to, but um, I really hope you guys enjoy. I think I'm almost at the end. I've got less than a minute. So there are going to be some screenies here at the end. So you can see in each room a little bit closer. If you do want to download this, my origin username is Kristen Marie XO. I don't really know what I'm going to label this as yet. So just if you're in the search bar on origin, if you type in Kristen Marie XO, I should come up. You can follow me there anytime I do one of these builds. I always put it there in case anybody's interested in using this in their game. I really hope you guys enjoy. This was so much fun to create and hopefully you guys I'll see in my next video. Bye guys!